Now there's one one more aspect of, of this last experiment that I want to emphasize. So just to review, the experiments we can do are test the orientation of the magnet. We'll flip it up and down, the number of windings, the strength of the magnetic field, and the rate of change. This one I need to say a little bit more about to be clear. It's the, the remember Faraday's law depends on this term, phi dt. The rate of change, the time rate of change of the magnetic flux, that's a T, is proportional to V, the speed, not the height, which I'll call H. So here's the idea. We're going to drop these pellets, the stack of magnetic pellets, and I'll drop them from some height above the coil. So here's H, and they'll drop down, and when they get down to the bottom, they'll have some final speed F. Here, initial speed equals zero. So given the height of the drop, we need to know the final speed at the, at the bottom of the drop, right here at the level of where the, the wire coils are. So what you don't want to do is just plot your data as, as how big the EMF is as a function of height, because these two are, I'll give you a hint, these two are not just necessarily directly related. They are related, they're not proportional is what I said. So you'll need a derivation in your, in your t uh, report where you derive the expression for the final speed given the height. And what we really want to see is, is how does the magnitude of the EMF vary with the speed, not the height. That's the point I want to make.